Hey, how's it going? I'm Joe, this is Leah. Thanks for watching Let's Head Wherever. In today's video, we are going to outline a big upgrade we did to our RV. We put in solar panels, upgraded our battery bank, and put in a pretty nasty inverter to run the entire RV. Yeah, so about six months ago, we replaced the stock lead acid batteries in the RV with a single 200 amp hour lithium battery. And we love the flexibility that it gave us to stay off grid more. Um, able to have more privacy, more scenic places, that type of stuff. We knew that we definitely wanted to upgrade our battery bank and add some solar to recharge it so we could do more of that type of camping. Yeah, the problem with that is that it's super overwhelming. Um, thankfully, we have a family friend that knows this stuff in and out, has built systems before, and he kind of walked us through piece by piece. Because the issue is, is that everyone pays attention to the solar panels because that's all you can see from the outside. Never mind all the components like the computer components and the solar chargers, the batteries, the inverter, all that stuff has to go in to make it all work or the panels up top don't really do much. Uh, the good thing is you can do it in phases if you want to. You can start with the batteries like we did. Then you could put it in an inverter. Now you can run some of the stuff on the inside. Eventually, once you get your head wrapped around everything that needs to go in, then put the panels on. So you have options. Yeah. So how much solar do you need? We've heard anywhere from two to one ratio from watts to amp hours or three to one if you're using lithium batteries. Did I do that backwards? No, nope, you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Either way, for us, the answer was as many as we could fit. So when you're doing the install, the solar panels are actually not the most expensive part. Mm -hmm. So if you're already up on the roof, you're already doing the wiring and install, you might as well just put as much as you can fit on the roof. And we put in with an asterisk as much that we can fit. Here's the thing, Lee and I are not very comfortable with heights. And I didn't, I didn't want to get up on the roof and be like tiptoeing in between like a three inch gap in solar panels. I'm sure we could have fit another panel or two. But the reality is I wanted to get up there and be able to get to everything I needed to get to comfortably without fearing like I was going to fall overboard or like step on a $300 solar panel or something like that. Yeah, you're better than me. We have a full roof, but I can still like crawl on hands and knees if I need to. <laughs> So here in our front storage area is where all the magic happens. You'll notice that most everything is Victron Energy. They have a fantastic reputation, so we wanted to put the best components in to run our system. I'll walk you through what we have up here, but we'll start with arguably the most important part of this whole system, and that's our batteries. We have 600 amp hours of Enduro Power lithium batteries. We've had these installed now for a few months and put them through the ringer and they've worked flawlessly. Super happy with these batteries. We have eight solar panels up on our roof and they are split four and four into these twin charge controllers. Solar chargers gather energy from our solar panels and send them off to the battery. Our Victron bus bar has a nice cover to kind of clean up the appearance a bit. These are red kill switches. Does this that kills the power if we need to. If we ever load the system and the circuit breaks, we got a circuit breaker box right there in the middle of the screen. And our servo is just a computer that monitors everything going on with our solar system and feeds all that information to a display in our hallway. And here is our multi plus two inverter to put it simply this is takes our dc power from the battery and switches it over to ac that way we can use all the power outlets inside the rv not just the stuff that's wired into the 12 volt system and here's a flyover once we had the solar panels installed you can see they are beautiful symmetric and we have plenty of room to still walk around up there so for the install itself uh, me and the friend that we talked about earlier who helped us design a system, we installed everything ourselves. And if you plan on doing it yourself, be prepared for some long days. It took us three full days with a couple late nights in there as well. And just prepare to be tired, <laughs> dirty. Um, you're going to be sore and dirty. And dirty, yeah. And dirty. But I haven't mentioned that and yet. We did stay in an Airbnb for the three days, or I guess four days total. Uh, so if you're going to do this yourself and you are living in it full time, I would definitely plan and budget for staying out of the RV. It made it a whole lot easier to not have to worry about tiptoeing around the work they were doing. Yeah, and something I didn't have a real good appreciation for as we started this install is like the massive amount of cables and wires that go into this thing. Um, looking at the cost breakdown, this system's expensive looking at just the wires and the cables and all the crimp attachments and everything else like 500 to a thousand dollars for all that stuff so it's 
just and, that alone. And cables and pieces just in and cape, pieces. Yeah, just, just in like bits to get everything to connect to each other. Not even talking about the big components. question everyone's wondering right now worth it absolutely yeah. Oh, yeah we're really happy with it it has given us so much confidence we've already signed up for several boondocking rallies and events that we would probably not have signed up for without it yeah we made a big decision we're going to alaska next Yay! summer and honestly having to worry about full hookup sites all the way up and back it probably would have we would just wouldn't have done it probably but knowing now if we get tired we want to stay somewhere on the side of the road we got we have power so we can manage that the other added benefit too is on, if we can't find a 50 amp site no big deal because we can supplement with our system if we have a 30 amp site we can supplement that extra 20 amps and run everything that we need to including air conditioners yeah really even overnighting in a cracker barrel parking lot yeah. after we've had a long day of driving even that makes a big difference <laughs> we don't have to like worry about if the slides are going to come in or if we're going to have heat all night long we just know that we're going to be covered and we can use the microwave in the morning to heat up leftover Cracker Barrel if we need to for breakfast. And then we never have to set the clock on the microwave ever again because we're always connected to power. Another big bonus. Totally. Uh, traveling is, is genuinely like a lot less stressful now. Yeah. We're not worrying about, you know, campgrounds are filling up really quickly now. We're not going, oh my gosh, do we have everything booked for six months out? We're not stressing about it because if we don't have something booked and we can't find anything in a certain place, that's fine. We'll just stay off grid. A year later, we're pretty good at this. We're getting a little less stressed. It took yeah. us a while.
our whole goal with traveling was to spend more time spending time together and time in nature. And I know it sounds pretty cheesy, but this really has enabled us to do more of that. We're spending a lot less time in like a crowded campground and a lot more time closer to nature, uh, less time in the car driving back and forth to um, parks and national everything. parks and stuff so that we can have a full hookup site and more time just really doing what we set out to do. Yeah, absolutely. So short answer, yes, totally worth it. Super glad we did it. And it's going to make for some incredible travels in 2022. Two thumbs up, highly recommend. Yes. If you have any questions about our solar system, as long as it's not super technical, because we're still a little overwhelmed, feel free to ask them and we are happy to help. Yeah, thanks for watching. We will catch you guys next time. <laughs>